Hello, um, I'm continuing my series on flower making tools and today we are going to be talking about uh, knives or knife tools. I have a couple here, they look the same, the difference is one is a single knife and the other one is a double knife with a groove in the center. There's also a knife that looks like this, uh, that's a Japanese um, style knife, uh, it's a single knife, it has the same uses as this knife. Your knife might look uh, slightly different, but if it has a, quite a sharp blade, uh, it's not a cutting blade, but it is pretty sharp, the sharpest out of all other tools, so you can use it in the same way as I'm going to be demonstrating today. The double knife has uh, a couple of different uses, and we're going to see them um, as well. I have prepared several uh, elements here. Uh, it's a leaf, it's a, it's a poppy leaf, uh, a lily petal and a butterfly wing. All my elements have been backed with a, a layer of different fabric as you can see. So the wire is uh, sandwiched between the main fabric and the backing fabric. Partly because it's the nature of these uh, flower or butterfly parts, because they are stronger like this, and I, I, I need to hide the wire. Um, Japanese technique does not um, generally does not allow the wire to be seen, and also partly because uh, actually tools work better on backed uh, parts, flower or butterfly parts, and you'll see more prominent lines and. Um, better shaping generally. Uh, I also have some uh, petals and leaves here that have already been shaped. All of them feature uh, are featuring uh, knife uses. So that's a, a water lily petal, a magnolia petal and um, a leaf as well. Uh, we're going to see how these tools um, work on fabric in a minute. So I'm going to start with um, a leaf. Most often these tools uh, are used on leaves, although they are quite widely used on petals as well and uh, other parts of the flower. So let's start with a double, um, double knife with a groove. You can use it uh, on the leaves, you can use it to accentuate your central vein. Uh, sometimes it can be done with a single knife uh, if you just run it along the wire. If you if you are using a double knife then you can run it um, so that your wire is inside the groove and the lines run parallel on either side of the wire. So this is one way of, of using it. So you're going to put it, it's easier to hold the leaf upside down like this. You can use hold it by the wire and then you're just running your double knife slowly from the base of the leaf making sure that the wire is inside the, um, the blades of the knife so this is one way of using it then you can also use your uh, single knife because it's quite a large complex leaf as you can see and uh, they can be bigger you can use your single knife to add some more side veins uh, to your leaf. So you can just start, you know, using your just imagination really, adding some extra veins and you can see this fabric is quite soft. It's um, a cotton flannelette so it shows veins very nicely. Uh, after that you can finish uh, shaping your leaf uh, with either a um, um, combination Tool, which adds nice a nice volume to large leaves, or just a double uh, sorry, just a um, extra narrow uh, tool uh, that we normally use to shape the leaves. You can use the double knife as well for adding uh, texture to some flower petals, uh, like this lily petal, or you can we did it for the orchids uh, uh, fabric orchids it can be done for 
uh, for magnolia or for uh, water lily or lotus uh, petals as well and uh, here you can use either a double knife which will with every stroke will add two lines on your petal or with a uh, just a single knife so i'll try to show both of them and the half of this petal i'll do with a double knife and the other half with a single so probably easier to again use it upside down so if you just run parallel so that's the double knife and then the single knife will just every time will just add one single line so it's sometimes it's beneficial sometimes it's more time consuming the result is going to be approximately the same so that's uh, adding a bit of texture to to your uh, fabric petals um, this uh, petal is made out of velveteen so you can see it's a bit shiny it's like velvet but uh, shiny it's made of rayon uh, and finally uh, I want to show us how you can use it on butterfly wings butterfly wing here is made out of golden lame satin it's quite thick uh, so what we can do is we can either accentuate the wires or uh, you can just uh, do some fancy scoring that fits uh, you know in, fits your purposes so usually I try to end them all up in the center or in the base of the of the wing where they all come out so you can make some um, longer lines and some shorter lines in between if you wish um, and then you can finish it off uh, using an, um, an extra narrow knife or extra narrow tool all around the, uh, the side of it So here I demonstrated some of the uses of these uh, sharp tools um, called knives and again yours might look slightly different but if they do the same, uh, help you achieve the same results so you can use them in the same way as I've just demonstrated. Uh, you'll find some useful links uh, to the fabrics and the tutorials below this video and uh, I see you next month with a new tutorial on flower shaping tools. Bye bye!